Hello. Welcome to Paul's Take. And all, with all my videos, sometimes I get questions asked to review things. One thing that keeps coming up over and over again. What is it like to be a human? I guess they're from out of town or something. I don't know. So I figure I'll make a video. Explain what was it like, the pros and cons about being a human. First pro versus, I will say, all the other animals is uh, toilet paper. I can't imagine living without it. We're the only species that use it, so that's a that's a definitely a positive. Who else uses toilet paper? I don't think so. <clears throat> the lady over there says gorillas do. I don't believe that. Maybe if you're a fish, you don't need to. So maybe that's not a positive. Hmm. I know. We wear glasses. If you're another species, you probably wouldn't have glasses if you didn't eat them. That's a positive, right? Let's go to a negative. Let's bounce back and forth. A negative about being human. Hmm. Well, I've noticed among other species on this planet that we're the only one that has to go to work. And at 12 hours of school, oh, 12 hours, 12 years of school, seem like a waste. Nobody else goes 12, hours, 12 years of school, and then another four if you want to go get all real smart about it. I didn't bother with that extra four. That seemed like a, I don't know, maybe it was practical. When I was young, they didn't have YouTube. You can learn everything on YouTube now. So what's the point of school? I don't know, it might be a waste. I guess maybe there's some, it's a place where you drop your kids off while you're doing other things. Like watching TV or something. What's the positive of being a human? What do you think? Anything top? Let me hit you the like air conditioning. Air conditioning. That is very positive. Yes, we're the only ones with air conditioning. But I guess if you're if you're one of them animals that 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 live way up north and get those big furry coats, you don't need air conditioning. Fire. But then you need fire. We have that too. We got we got the monopoly on air conditioning and fire. No other species has that. Toilets are not that important. I think the toilet paper is more important than the toilet. Cars. Cars and planes. I don't know. But I think if you got a good spot, you don't need a car or train or a plane. You just like hang out by the. If you're like, if you're like, I say you're a dolphin or a seagull, you got chill at the beach, take out food, refrigerators, storage. Hmm. Food storage is important. Food delivery. Money. Who needs money? Money is for a people's. Nobody else needs money, just us. Who needs to buy up the things that we have? Like food. It's overrated. I don't see eagles complaining about money. Not for my eagle. Well, this was one of those Russian eagles. Them Russian eagles got it tough. They don't have it like the, the American eagles. They don't mess around. You can't steal from an American eagle. But them Russian eagles, they gangsta. They be stealing from each other. All right, you saw it. Serious. Russian, Russian eagles are gangsta. Uh, the lady here thinks pets. That's a positive. Like what? My my dog and cats don't do anything ever. They're very demanding. I could do without. Just borrow somebody else's pet. Uh, but really, I think most of these questions are not from from animal species. They're from the ones that are way out of town. 
Well, I'll tell you what we have that they don't. Underwear. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise? Yep. Maybe they do have them, though. Maybe they have Maybe they do have Tom Cruise. Maybe Tom Cruise is from way out of town, if you know what I mean. Thank you. Thank you. They don't have movies. They don't have my understanding, this could be completely false, but this is my understanding from people that are from out of town. They don't have entertainment like we do. All their movies are based on documentaries, reenactments of actual events. Boring. They don't have fiction. Fiction is purely us. And that's what I like about being American, a human being. We have fiction. All right, what else? Hmm. We have music. Yeah, we got music. I don't know. I, I do like the fact that we have fingers. I just scratch my head and my hair like this. You know. If you didn't have fingers, that would be a drag. So that's a positive. Negative, we don't have wings. So with that, you should have wings. We got planes, it's not the same thing. You can't soar with your own body. You can soar straight down, but it's not quite the same when you can't stop. So yes, yeah, so we can we can we can touch things, but we can't fly. So we might have got chipped there. But overall, it's pretty good. Pretty good. What do you think? What are the pros and cons? of being a human. Three pros and three cons. That's what I want from you. Just watch it, Pulse Make sure you hit like, subscribe for more of my take on things.